Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And today we have got a squad builder featuring three of the brand new upgrades that came out yesterday on the market. And I'm not gonna lie, they're fairly expensive. They actually are. I'll let you know if I think they're worthwhile or if you should just get the normal cards instead of the upgrade. I'll let you know when we get around to the players and I'll show you some gameplay and clips and all that sort of stuff. But before we do get started, if you're looking for a place to get some coins, check the link in the description. For the FIFA shop.co.uk, a really awesome website. And if you use the code TOBY10, you get a discount off every single one of your orders when you're at the checkout screen, which is superb. And you might want to check out the website because I think they've changed, run some pricings and changed a few things about. So definitely have a little look. But this is a team in the 352 formation. I'm getting used to this formation actually. It's actually a lot more solid than I thought it was. And if you have the right players, it can be really, really strong. Not as strong as last year. Last year, it was so, so good on FIFA 13, but it's not a bad formation. I used to think it was. I used to think it was pretty poor defensively, but I have got used to it. And I think, like I said, with the right players, it's not too bad at all. So in defense, we've got Zuma, we've got Miranda, and we've got Thiago Silva. Thiago Silva is fantastic, as is Miranda. Zuma's not bad. He's got great heading, really solid heading, but he does feel very, very sluggish compared to the other two. But you would expect that since he has got a lower pace. So you might want to throw a shadow card on him if you've got the amount of money that is required. I think they're about 5k now, which is pretty crazy. Ramirez is our CDM and he's very, very good, very quick. Decent at shooting despite what his card says. Left mid, we go with David Villa, a great player. I still wish he had 5-star weak foot. Big shame, but 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot, along with a decent amount of pace, great shooting, decent passing, and awesome dribbling. So, he's a top-notch card. He's actually really, really good. And sometimes he does get caught out with a little bit of lack of pace, but Usually, he's pretty good. Matuidi, again, very, very solid CDM. So the defense is really, really nice in this team. And it's kind of strange having two high, high work rate players in CDM, but it actually works quite well. It honestly does. And then we've got Ben Arthur. I always forget that I have five-star skillers in the team. I think I did one McGeady spin that led to a goal. I tried to do as many skills as I could, but I did actually forget for the first few games that I played. But it's actually really good. I haven't used him before. He's actually pretty good. First upgrade player is going to be Oscar in centre attacking mid. 34,000 coins. It's actually pretty hard to come by on the market as well. I only found a few there and they're very expensive. And honestly, I don't know if it's worth it. Like, I think he scored me one goal and that was it. And I think he assisted maybe two, but it feels exactly the same as his old card. Honestly, really, really does. Diego Costa is the next player, I think, in the six games I played. He scored four goals, which is pretty good, but again, his original card's really, really good, and for 21,250, that's pretty crazy. I mean, he's really, really decent. Don't get me wrong, he's actually fantastic, but it's expensive. Same with Remy, 14,000 coins for Remy? I don't even know, but I wanted to bring this video to you guys, showing you some of the upgraded players, and perhaps telling you if they're actually worthwhile, and I'll get into a bit more detail when we're in the clips, but it's a lot of money. Bear that in mind, for similar players, it is a lot of money. But then again, I guess you could argue the point of informs. I guess it's only small upgrades with some of them, and they can be a lot more expensive. So, what do I think of the three upgraded players? Diego Costa was very, very good, but I did enjoy his original card. And for the sake of like 30, 20K-ish, it's a lot, like it actually is quite a lot. And Oscar didn't seem very good at finishing. That was a really, really nice bit of dribbling, but he just couldn't get the ball in the back of the net and it was a re-round that ended up. But saying that, Ben Arthur was amazing. And he's obviously, his original card, not an upgrade, very cheap. He was ridiculous. In the six games, I scored four goals with Ben Arthur as well as Diego Costa. And for a right mid in a 3-5-2, that's pretty unheard of. It's just, his dribbling was, exceptional he was always in the right place at the right time his pace is actually a lot faster than the card says like it really does feel a lot faster Diego Costa was good this is a nice goal very very nice little finish there but I just don't think the three players that actually cost the most in this team and are the upgraded players they didn't really feel like they were upgraded I don't know they didn't feel like they're worth the money no way no way at all but they were still really good I'm trying to get the point across like they're really really good but just get their original because it didn't feel much different at all. Honestly, it really didn't. They were still really, really solid. And I think the team's amazing, but it's just the fact that it costs quite a lot more than it should. I'm going to have to give it a lower score. So 
I'm going to end up giving this one an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's an amazing team, really, really enjoyable. Just don't get the upgrades because you're wasting around about 70k, which is pretty crazy. Like That is a lot of coins to be wasting. So get the normal cards and you will have a great time. It's a really solid formation, great players, great passing, decent finishing, and I'm sure you will love it. So that wraps up this video. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, drop a like and subscribe for some more from myself. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care, have an amazing day, and goodbye.